Hello and welcome to Rusty's Speechless. Today's video is going to be another skin combo video and today's skin is going to be Headhunter Prime. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be another skin combo video and today's skin is going to be Headhunter Prime and this video was suggested by Cody Bear. Thank you very much for the video suggestion and they said can you do combos for Headhunter Prime? Of course I can. The Headhunter Prime skin can be found under the Reload Squad tab. The skin will cost you 800 V-Bucks or can be bought for the Royale Originals for 2000 V-Bucks. If you ever would like to use my credit code for any cosmetics, any art shop, for example, the Headhunter Prime skin, my credit code is S-P-E-E-C-H or speech. And if you do decide to use it, feel free to let me know so I can thank you personally. The Headhunter Prime skin is a part of the Origin set introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4. It has two edit styles, which is default and camo, so I made five combos for each. Let's get into the first combos, Black Bling, which is the Black Shield from the Chapter 1, Season 2's Black Pass, part of the Fortnite set. And it's the Black Knight's Black Bling from that season. He used a Tier 70 skin. This Black Bling works absolutely perfectly with the standard style for the Headhunter Prime skin for the Black. Pickaxe is the Icebreaker, Part of the Arctic Command set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 1. This can be bought in the art shop, using it mainly for the black design. Umbrella for the first of five combos is One Shot, which is part of the John Wick set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 9, using it for the fully blacked out design. But if you don't have this glider, you can use any other umbrella or glider that's black themed would work nicely. You've got this umbrella for getting a victory royale in John Wick Bounty LTM in Chapter 1, Season 9. Contra for all combos is from this season's Bat Pass, which is a Nitro Smog. Part of the Hunt of the Leviathan set, and this is the Tier 100 skins Contra, which is a Megalodon's. Works very nicely. I've been using it a lot since I unlocked it. Let's move on to the first weapon wrap now, which is this one right here. It's a fully blacked out weapon wrap, part of the John Wick set as well. In Shooting Chapter 1, Season 9, the Boogeyman. You've got this weapon wrap for getting charges done in a John Wick Bounty LTM, but if you don't have this, you can also use the one that's in the arm shop, which is Assassin, which has a little bit of black and silver, which goes between black goes nice with the skin and the pickaxe. I guess the silver goes pretty nicely with the pickaxe as well. Obviously, if you don't have the boot man, this is a good alternative. Let's move on to combo number two now. For the second combo, I thought I'd use the wolf pack, part of the full moon set. Introduced in chapter one, season six of Battle Pass. As dies back boom from that season. He was a tier 100 skin. Men use this for the black. Goes very nicely with the skin, especially with the standard style. Pickaxe is a crowbar, part of the Getaway Gang set. In season chapter 1, season 5. Men use this for the black. This pickaxe you've got to get a challenge done in the Getaway Game Mode. Let's move on to the second weapon wrap now. For this one, I thought I'd use a fully blacked out weapon wrap once again, which is Stealth Black, part of the Air Royale set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 8. This could be bought in the arm shop, I'm pretty sure, for either 300 or 400 V-Bucks, which in my opinion is a pretty good steal for a fully blacked out weapon wrap. Let's move on to combo number 3 now. And for this combo, I thought I'd use the Assassin Pack, part of the John Wick set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 9. This is one of the two John Wick backblings, using it for the fully blacked out design. But if you don't have this backpack, I don't want to use it. You can use any other backpack or backbling that's black themed. A clothes pack would work very nicely as well, but just anything black themed would work nicely. Pickaxe's Vision, part of the Ouroboros set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7. This could be bought in the art shop, using it for the black and the blue. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now, which is a black and blue themed weapon wrap, which is a blue metallic. Part of the Ice Kingdom set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7's Battle Pass. And it's Ice King's weapon wrap from that season. Let's move on to combo number four now for the Headhunter Prime skin. For this one, I thought I'd use a cape. The one I'm using is the Battle Worn Cape, which is DC series, part of the Batman Zero Point set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6. And this is Batman Zero's back bling. But you can use any other cape, shroud would work nicely, just black theme. But I thought I'd use this one. Pickaxe is the Leon's Combat Knife. This is Gaming Legend Series Pickaxe, part of the Raccoon City Survivors set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 2. And this is Leon S. Kennedy's Pickaxe, using it for the green design, basically to go with the jungle camo of the Headhunter Prime Stand Styles trousers. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now. I thought I'd use a weapon wrap that has a little bit of jungle camo, or basically is jung jungle camo with a little bit of yellow, because I thought I'd switch up from just using fully blacked out weapon wraps. The weapon wrap is Riptide, part of the Open Water set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1's Back pass, and as you see here, it works very nicely for the jungle camo. Not the exact camo, but does look very close or does look very similar to the trousers, obviously, of the standard style. Let's move on to combo number five. Now, for this one, I thought I'd use a Marvel series backlink, which is a Deadpool's katanas, part of the Deadpool set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2's Back Pass. 
Deadpool was the secret skin from that season. Men using black. Pickaxe is a driver. Part of the teed off set. In season chapter 1, season 8. This could be bought in the art shop. Men using it for the black. Let's move on to the ref route now. Which is this one right here. Which is Tie Dye Abyss. Introducing chapter 3, season 4. Basically, it's a tie dye skins weapon wrap. And to make it fully black, all you've got to do is go to lobby, click on your banner, go to color, go to third row down, second color across will give you the fully black down design. And this is how the actual weapon wrap looks. Let's move on to combo number 6 now, which is the first combo for the second style, which is the camo. Basically, uh, the, the, how did this skin look default wise in chapter 1, which I already do like the skin a lot because of the fact that you have two edit styles. Black Bling is a gold token, part of the John Wick set. In season chapter 1, season 9, you got this Black Bling for getting challenges done from the John Wick Bounties LTM. Pickaxe is the throwback axe, part of the Origin set. In season chapter 2, season 4, this is the default pickaxe from chapter 1. And you can claim it for free in chapter 2, season 4. I think for like a, a couple of weeks, maybe a month, it's basically claim it for free. It's pretty much just a default pickaxe. I thought it goes very nicely with this skin. It's pretty much this skin, especially this style was the default skin from chapter 1. Last five combos, I'm using the Founders Umbrella, which is the Founders exclusive. And this umbrella itself can be earned by achieving a victory after purchasing, after the purchase of Founders Pack, which basically the Founders Pack is like the Save World Founders Pack. So if, if you own that, obviously you've got a victory royale, you'd have this umbrella. But if you don't have this, use any other umbrella that's green. You can use green theme, that like palm leaf would work nicely, or just stick with the actual one shot if you want to just stick that one or keep that one, it work nicely. Contra, once again, is Nitro Smog. Let's move on to the first red wrap now for the second combo, which is this one right here, which is Life's a Beach. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7, nice animated web wrap about the footprints across the sand. Many use it for the brown or that camo-y design. Let's move on to combo number 7 now, and the second for the camo style. This one, I thought I'd use the Boomstick, part of the Nobi Cabin Nightmare set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4, and it's one of Ash Williams' backling, using it for the black and purple design black and purple <laughs> black and brown design i really do like this back a lot pickaxe is the harley hitter which is dc series pickaxe part of the gotham city set in season chapter two season one as harley quinn's pickaxe this goes very nicely with this style let's move on to the weapon wrap which is a gaming legend series weapon wrap which is the mayhem part of the mayhem set in season chapter one season x and this is the psycho bandits Weapon wrap or the Borderlands weapon wrap works very nicely with the skin and also the Harley hitter. Let's move on to combo number eight. Now, for this one, I thought I'd use the Arroyo pack. Arroyo pack, I'm not sure how to say it. Part of the custom set. In season chapter two, season two is Battle Pass. I'm using a default star, but you can also use brown camo, but I personally prefer to use default. Pickaxe is combat knife. Part of the Future War set. In season chapter two, season five. Many using it for the brown design. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now. For this combo, which is the Legends Retribution, which is part of the Jonesy's Re Jonesy's Revenge set, in season chapter five, season one's Battle Pass, and this is Vengeance to Jonesy's weapon wrap. Works very nicely for the the um black, the little bit of red, and also with, like the um the cream or the very like light brown design goes nicely with the actual camo of the trousers, the camo style. Let's move on to the next combo, which is combo number nine. Now, for this one, I thought I'd use the hollow back. Part of the Boundless set, in season chapter 2, season 4. And this is one of the two customized and superhero skins back things. And I'm using the sticker Cypher's Mask. It's an animated, it's an animated um sticker, as you can see here in Cypher PK's one. Works very nicely. But you can use any sticker that you like. I thought I'd use this one. Goes very nicely with the red. Pickaxe is a Yodas Kane, which is Star Wars series pickaxe. Part of the original trilogy set in season chapter 5, season 2, many using it for the light brown design. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now for this combo, which is from this season, which is Nitro Burst. Part of the Hunt of the Leviathan set, and this is the Megalodon's weapon wrap. Let's move on to combo number 10, for the Head Hunter Primal, last combo, I should say. For this one, I thought I'd use the Code Sheer Cloak. In season chapter 4, season 2, works nicely for the black and green design, and it's a back that you could get for free for quite a while on the Epic Games Store. I think you had till, was it? I think it was June 16th to claim for free on the Epic Games Store. Pretty clean looking back, it's also free as well. 
or was free I should say. Pretty sure it will come back later on in the archer if we didn't claim it for free. Pickaxe is the Reaper, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 1. Works very nicely for the light brown and goes very nicely with the skin. Pretty OG like the skin is itself. And obviously this can be bought in the item shop. Let's move on to the final weapon right now, which is this one right here, which is 1s and zeros, part of the Follow the White Rabbit set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 1. Using it for many for the green design, but black does work nicely as well. Pretty much the Matrix weapon wrap. So that's all the hunt the all the head hunter prime skin combos done thank you once again kodiak bear for the video suggestion i really did enjoy getting combos done for this skin i was gonna buy it ages ago but since it came back with the actual rope reload squad game mode i thought i'd pick it up so obviously two styles pretty cheap as well 800 v bucks pretty good skin obviously two edit styles is always an added bonus but if there is any other video suggestions you'd like to see for example skin back green pickaxe guide slash umbrella control or weapon or anything other fortnite related always feel free to let me know in the comments down below i'm always down to give something new a go but anyways that's pretty decent